Captain Gamble, everyone. Keep the Captain Gamble here with us today in the house. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And uh, we're going to talk to you today about a project that you're working on. I understand it's called From the Root to the Fruit, A Chronicle of the Blues. Yes. Tell me about that project, please. Well, this project uh, comprises all of the genres of music from the slavery times, from Phil Hollis and Chance, from early blues, all the way up through Dixieland through jazz, through rock and roll, R&B, up to the uh, rap era. Um, could you tell me, Captain, what is the blues? Well, the blues is, is a mood. It's a condition. It's a history. Uh, blues are all these things and a whole lot more. Uh, when I think of blues, I think of the present and the future encompassing all musical expressions, particularly American music, and other artistic expressions like uh, dance, literature, poetry, and the like. Okay, now you just said that the blues is a condition as well as history. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by a blues condition? Well, a blues condition, uh, there's several elements to a blues condition. It could be, uh, a social condition or a personal relationship situation that is interpreted in song and verse you know, by a black man or a black woman who's struggling to live in America. Mm. Could you give us a sample of uh, a social condition as, ex as expressed in song? Oh yes, one particular song, B.B. Uh, King's Why I Sing the Blues. <laughs> standing over me with a lot more than a whip and everybody wants to know why I sing the blues. Been around a long time, really paid my dues. Right. As a social condition. Social condition. Let's talk about some of those social conditions. Uh, that condition could be a mother getting her child taken from her on an auction block, that's a blues condition. Or a policeman shooting a kid for holding the wrong kind of candy bar, that's a blues condition. A no good woman or a no good man 
<laughs> or a real good man and a real good woman. All these are just facets of, of blues that are expressed in verse and song. Um, you were talking about a relationship condition. What's a relationship situation that's expressed in the blues? Oh, well, there are just myriad examples of that in the blues. One such is uh, Red House. Now, Red House? It. That yes. sounds familiar. Who's that by? Uh, it's a blues song by Jimi Hendrix. Mm. Okay. So blues is timeless. It's not just some someone who's in their 30s or the 20s in the woods. It could be someone from Seattle, Washington, who played in the late 60s and 70s. So it's a. Could you tell us, Captain, where the blues comes from? Well, blues is a uh, folk music, black folk music, that was originated in the Delta region of Mississippi. It's the northern part of Mississippi and surrounding areas. Um, but its roots are in slavery, no question about it. We find that uh, many of the uh, early chants and, and field hollers, we call them our work songs, were from these uh, slavery times, from the slavery songs that were brought over. Um, we weren't allowed to have a drum. We weren't allowed to have our language or our religion. So what we did was create from our own experiences, from our own spirit, from our own emotion, from our own very souls, this type of music. Like uh, in the other islands, like maybe in um, the Caribbean, the West Indies, and Brazil, they were allowed for the most part to keep their drums because their numbers were smaller than they are in uh, continental America at that time. So in order to like uh, prevent an uprising or communication between the different peoples that were brought here, they removed the means of communication, which was the drum. Consequently, consequently we are. Uh, develop our own style of expression using our farm uh, implements, mm -hmm. the work tools that they gave us to chop their cotton and to pick their tobacco. Uh, we use those to make musical instruments from, or beats. Uh, that um, musical, what is it, uh, noise funk, showed how uh, they used their feet to oh, tap Oh, bringing the noise, bringing the funk. Yes, to use tap that dance. to tap out their own different kind of blues to create musicality out of any ordinary object around you or whatever. Mm -hmm. They improvised and they created this, this art form. I heard you mention a work song and I understand that there was a thing called a field holler? Oh what yes. What is a field holler? Now field holler is a type of work song. There will be a leader who would stand before like a, a certain particular work party or um, field hands and create a song that would inspire them to work at a particular cadence, at a particular pace, uh, depending on what the, uh, actual, um, the actual job was, whether it be chopping wood or busting rocks or picking cotton or tobacco. Everything had a or, or railroad construction. Everything had a certain beat and a certain tempo. And this leader would yell out a certain phrase or verse, which would be repeated or answered by the workers in the field. 
used to try to serve as a distraction from the blazing sun that they were subjected to. Mm. Can you give us a sample of a work uh, field holler? Oh yeah, there was this one, uh, well it's, it's derived from a field holler, but it's a, a work song from a chain gang, it's called uh, Rosie. Mm -hmm. These convicts are there, you know, and they have this aspirations of leaving prison and going back to this girl, Rosie, who's waiting for them, hopefully pure and chaste. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll give you a little bit of it. So, and that's the sound of the jackhammer hitting the axe. Be my woman and I'll be your man. Be my woman and I'll be your man. Oh. Be my woman and I'll be your man. Catfish Sunday dollar in your hand. Well, stick to the promise, girl, that you made me. Stick to the promise, girl, that you made me. Whoa. Stick to the promise, girl, that you made me. Yeah. We'll be married once they set me free. Yeah. Set me free, Lord. Set me free. Set me free, Lord. Set me free. Hey, Rosie, be my gal. Hey, Rosie, be my gal. When she walks, she rocks and plays behind. When she walks, she reels and rocks behind. When she walks, she reels and rocks behind. Well, ain't that enough to trouble a convict's mind? Yeah. You know, listening to that, it reminded me of church. So let's talk about the blues and gospel and spirituals. How do the blues relate? Oh, well. They are like identical twins. They are siblings. They are both derived from these field hollers and, and the work song just sung out, variations of those things. Spirituals on one hand and blues on the other. Uh, there are certain spiritual songs that were crossed over. If you just change the word on some of these songs from uh, Jesus to baby, you'd have a blues song, even though it's predominantly uh, the same chord structure and configuration. The one, four, five progression is still prevalent in gospel and secular music as well. But I understand that um, blues was really very taboo amongst most churchgoers. They considered it secular music that was... Oh yes, that's what the name blues derives from. Uh, the blue devils, they call it. It's supposed to be the music from hell. And you're supposed to be very sinful and, and capricious if we play some kind of depraved <laughs> if you played that kind of music. And they uh, really frowned upon it. A lot of the traditional people there really frowned upon playing blues and church music too. You had to either play one or the other or they consider you blasphemous in oh. the eyes of God. And yeah. that's what happened with this uh, one blues composer, Thomas Dorsey? Oh, Thomas Dorsey, Thomas A. Dorsey. <laughs> Not to be confused with the swing leader, Tommy Dorsey. He was a blues player who in later years uh, turned to play only gospel music. And uh, he wrote one of the most famous and, uh, and endeared songs, gospel songs of our time called Precious Lord Take My Hand. Oh, could you sing a little of that for us? Let's see, okay, let's see. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me home, let me stand.
about the blues. When you hear the blues, you know it. What is it in terms of the uh, musical structure of the blues that defines it? It's based on what they call the pentatonic minor scale. It's with five tones. <laughs> against the chord. And what differentiates the blues scale from other types of music is the, uh, what we call the bending or the slurring, like. That's a moan. Mm. And that's not what you find in most uh, musical genres. You usually have the trill or something. You have that in violin or in classical music. But this, and you said against the chord, that's the yes, one the, four? This chord, no, one four five chord progression. So you have the one chord is the chord where you start from. In this case, it would be a B flat. Then the four chord would be E flat. And back to the E flat. Then the five chord here. F to E flat. And back to the one. One four five. One. And that is the basis. That is the basis the of all popular American music. Okay. okay. Start with, but we start Starting with this with foundation in the blues, blues, the root. Okay. And whatever comes out of that is the fruit, which is rock and roll, uh, jazz, Dixieland, bebop, all is comprised of that mm -hmm. one, four, five thing we call the blues. Before we close, I just wanted to ask you to repeat something. You were at a program recently for Black History Month. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you were speaking to the kids, and you made a statement about um, this art form that you wanted the kids to know. Would you share that with us now today? I want to let them know, and particularly the children, that uh, we have an art form that has become the most popular form, basic, basic structure structural form of music in the entire world. All the most popular music in the world is from America. Mm -hmm. America's most popular music is originated from black people. Those black people originated their songs from the blues. So you have to go from the root to the fruit. Whatever musical structure they come after that has come basically from the blues. And I was telling the children in particular do not let this art form go. It is part of your culture. That's why so many artists, particularly B.B. Uh, King, is sometimes disheartened when he sees a whole magnitude of white kids in the audience. He's appreciative, no doubt, but he'd rather see someone appreciate something that we invented because if you don't use it, like Grandma said, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. We have to keep this alive within ourselves and let it proliferate within our culture so our children can learn this and treasure it and hallow it like it's supposed to be. This is an art form just as uh, relevant as Bach, Beethoven, or anyone else.
the blues alive, keep your culture alive, and keep yourselves alive by loving one another and communicating with one another, okay? It's very important, particularly the kids. You have to know those blues in order to do that rap and that R&B, okay? Okay, as has been said countless times, that the children are our future, but we are our present. Now, in order to steer them and guide them to a proper future, a future that's going to have promise, dignity, and pride, we have to do our part to present this to them. Children are like sponges. They absorb everything they hear, the negative as well as the positive. This is something from them, from their heritage, from their history, from their culture, and it should be preserved or it will be stolen or it will be lost. And it's my obligation to do this. The most popular form of music in the world is blues. Everything is based on blues. Rap is based on blues, rock and roll, and jazz. Blues is like the great, great granddad that taught you everything that gave you your grandparents and your parents. This is yours, it's not from Asia, it's not from Africa. This is from here, from the blood, sweat, and tears of your enslaved great, great grandparents and great, great grandparents and great, 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 great grandparents. Okay, now he's gonna do something called a boogie. Now I need you to help me. Everybody got hands here? Who has hands? Raise them. If you have hands, raise them. Okay, let's do like this. Thank you for coming. Thank you. For Thank you very much. Brothers, let me tell you something. The blues came over on a slave ship.
Uh-huh. The blues came over in the plantation. Uh-huh. In the cotton field. Yeah. In the corn field. Yeah. In the tobacco field. Yeah. And on the road gang. Yeah. When we was getting whooped. Yeah. Right. Putting jail on trumped up charge. Yeah. Yeah. For stealing for our family to eat. Yeah. Yeah. For looking at the wrong woman the wrong way. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's the blues, y'all. Yeah. That's the blues. And yeah. from the road gang. Yeah. The only thing we could take our mind off that, you know what that was, brother? What? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. What's her name? Rosie. What's her name? Rosie. Be my woman and I'll be your man. Be my woman and I'll be your man. Be my woman and I'll be your man. Catfish Sunday dollar in your hand. In your hand. Promise, girl, I, you made me. We'll be married once that I go free. I go free, Lord. I go free. I go free, Lord. I go free. Hey, Rosie. What? Whoa.